Hi everyone, welcome to my video series. In today's session, we will be discussing about semiconductor diodes. So, in my previous videos, I have explained about uh, resistors, capacitors and inductors and uh, using them how to um, in an application how to use them in an application such as uh, high pass filter low pass filters we have captured various waveforms with respect to those components now let's move on to the next part of the hardware embedded design process one of the crucial parts of this design or the component which is used uh, in the hardware design for any embedded product or any embedded design is uh, semiconductor diodes, transistors, MOSFETs, IGBTs. So, before we discuss in more detail about diodes, uh, let me explain about what are semiconductors. So, the information which I would be speaking will be more related to the practical application and the knowledge of what I have acquired and uh, will try to avoid the uh, literature um, which you can find in various textbooks so but i'll be just uh, stating few definitions so that so that we can have a keep a track on what we're talking about so semiconductor is something it's also a conductor but it has the conductive property of that particular conductor is between the conductor and insulator means what is conductor the conductor is in terms of electrical conductor the electrical conductor is something which allows the electric current or electrons to pass through it without having much opposition and insulators are or electric insulators are something which does not allow electrons to pass through them which are and to use a lot of opposition called resistance that's why they are insulators so insulators have high resistance and conductors have very low resistance and the materials whose resistance or the properties of the conduction of electric conduction is between the conductor and insulator are called semiconductor materials now using that semiconductor materials there are various components designed or made such as transistors diodes mosfets igbts and these semiconductors are further classified as so let me write semiconductor materials are of two types one is p type another is n type and in p type why why do we call it p type p represents hole that is h o l e hole n represents electrons so in p type material holes are the majority charge carriers and in n type material electrons are the majority charge carriers now what does this majority charge carriers mean majority charge carrier is something if in a material if the number of holes are more than number of electrons or the current carrying the current is carried because of the flow of holes more than the electrons then holes are in majority that means holes are the majority charge carrier carrying particles whereas in a material if the electrons are responsible for the flow of electric current and this electric current is due to or the number of electrons are more than the number of holes in that particular material 
then that particular material is called n type material now let us come back to our actual topic that is semiconductor diodes now how the semiconductor diodes are constructed so the semiconductor diode are constructed using a p type material and an n type material joined together so for example this is a p type material it represents as a triangle and this one line vertical line it represents n type material so when these two are joined together then this is called p side of the diode and this n type inside of the diode and hence this is called p pn junction and this is called diode it's a diode uh, symbol representation so if you have a p type material and there is an n type material and when they are together join then they form a junction called pn junction and this pn junction forms a diode so what does this diode actually means diode means two electrodes so we have two electrodes electrode means two electrode electrical terminals so we have p side terminal and we have n side terminal hence this is called pn junction diode and its symbol is represented using this triangle and a vertical line and these are the terminals so this is a symbol now let us go into more details now this pn junction diode this diode is something you we have a very peculiar uh, operation that is it will act as a short circuit in forward bias diode acts as a short circuit and in reverse bias diode acts as a open circuit now what is forward bias and what is in reverse bias forward bias means if there is a diode and we have a voltage source such as battery or any other voltage this is positive terminal of a battery this is negative terminal of a battery if positive terminal of the battery is connected to the positive p side of the diode and negative terminal of the battery is connected to the n side of the diode then this kind of circuit configuration is called forward bias now what is reverse bias reverse bias let the diode be in the same way and we reverse the polarity of the input source that is if the p type side of the diode is connected by the negative terminal of the battery and n type this is n type and this is p type so if p type is connected to the negative side of the battery and i hope you understand this is the representation of a battery voltage source and the positive side of the battery is connected to the end side of the diode and negative side of the battery is connected to the p side of the diode then this kind of circuit combination is called as reverse bias that is diode is reverse biased now as i mentioned in forward bias diode acts as a short circuit so for example you have a resistor a capacitor 
and you have another resistor and here you have diode we consider in this circuit if you apply positive side of the battery to the p side and negative side of the battery to the n side so suppose this is negative side and this is your positive side is connected to the diode in this situation you can see the diode acts as a short circuit hence our circuit becomes it's a short circuit so there is no path so there is a sorry there is a direct path so this diode acts as a short circuit so our circuit becomes like this so our diode becomes short circuit so there is no resistance in the path there is zero resistance in the part and this circuit is connected and once this circuit is connected so your current flows directly within this circuit got it now if the diode is reverse biased that is for example the same circuit if the diode is reverse biased that is let us rotate the diode polarity so that is this way and our battery is to the p side there is n negative side of the battery and to the n side p side and n side here in the previous case the n side is towards the negative side of the battery and p side is the positive hence this is called forward bias and the circuit is short so there is a zero resistance between the circuit path now if the p side is towards the n side of the battery and n side is towards the positive side of the battery then we can represent this circuit as as an open circuit so the short the diode acts as an open circuit gives a very high resistance path and which is equivalent to an open circuit the current does not pass through this particular direction the current will pass throughout the circuit but not through the diode hope you are uh, clear with uh, now how the, the the basic application and how the diode can be utilized in a circuit to act as a short circuit or an open circuit when it is in forward biased or when it is in reverse biased